Sports Report. I am Madrasi Ibrahim, Manager of Equities at Boss Securities, and I'll be holding on for Road today. Today, we'll take a look at recently released results for a number of local listed companies on the local stock exchange who would have released results for nine month period recently. We'll start off with, with Core this morning and look at their performance, and we'll start off with earnings per share. With Core, would have experienced a 27% decline in their earnings per share over the nine month period. Earnings would have fallen from 59 cents last year to current 43 cents. The top line would have also shrunk by 18% and the operating profit by 28.4%. The company continues to face challenges on the top line. Over the last five years, we've seen consistent decline in revenues as well as operating profits and operating margins. And the next slide will show. Over the last four years, revenues have declined almost 42% from 659 million to current 383 million. The company continues to be facing very competitive environment where illicit trade in cigarettes continue to impact the overall market. Margins, as I mentioned, continue to decline. The gross profit margins have fallen from 76.6% in 2020 to the current 62%. And more importantly, operating profit margins have declined a little more rapidly from 65.4% to 39.2%. This despite the company initiating some transformation initiatives last year. We've seen some attempts to improve the efficiency of the company in the terms of operations distribution as well. The company would have employed the services of Massey Distribution, one distributor, to facilitate the distribution of their products. And their product offering suite also has been diversified to be a little more competitive to cater for the high end, high income end user as well as the low income year user. Unfortunately, they haven't been able to capitalize on these initiatives just quite yet. One positive of the company is their dividend payout ratio continues to be very healthy at 94, 95% over the last four years. Last year, the company would have generated a dollar and ten cents and would have paid out a dollar and four cents. And this year, so far, the nine month period, it would have generated forty three cents and paid out thirty five cents. Our recommendation with the company currently is market weight. The PE ratio is a bit distorted for the twelve month in that it's six point four. Last year, the company, in the last quarter of the year, they would have generated fifty one cents. This year, they may be challenged to repeat that. At the, nine month, at the third quarter, they would have only recorded 11 cents. The dividend yield also is on the higher end on a trailing basis, 12 month, because the last quarter of last year, the company would have been able to pay a final dividend of 51, 52 cents. That may be difficult to replicate this year as well. So in terms of PE, we should see PE closer to a 10 time at the end of this year and dividend yield on the high single digit, but definitely not double digit. So our market weight, Recommendation is based on the continued challenges faced on the revenue front and the narrowing margins, but buffered by attractive dividend yields and new product offerings that the company uh, continues to apply to the market. The next company we'll take a look at is Prestige. The fortunes of this company has a little better. The company has definitely recovered from the COVID period. The earnings per share was up 15.5% at the nine month period. Revenue. Growth was a little slower at 2.2%. Operating profit, however, a sharper growth at 13.8%. The company continues to perform very well on the revenue front. Over the last couple of years, the company rebound sharply in terms of revenue growth 2022. Over the nine month period, revenue growth was 65% from the lows of the COVID area, where the revenue was only 491 million and would have doubled over the last three years to over a billion in the recent nine month period. On the revenue front as well, the company continues to diversify and grow their restaurant base. Last year, they would have grown, introduced five new restaurants in, in Guyana. They would have introduced the Starbucks new uh, restaurant and the intention is to 
introduced and two more Starbucks in Guyana. So definitely that is one area the company is trying to diversify and grow the external revenues. In 2022, external revenues would have contributed 1.3% and last year it was 2.6%. So with the vibrancy of the Guyanese market and introduction into that market, definitely that is one year the company could foresee greater growth in terms of the top line. Improvements in margin is also commendable for the group as well. Their gross profit margin continues to be stable at between 32 and 33 to 34 percent. Importantly, the operating profit margin has recovered and at the nine month period as 8.6 percent compared to 2.5 percent in 2020. Our recommendation for the security at this point in time is overweight. We do think this is an attractive valuation for the medium to long term investor and some a security that you could add to your portfolio. The PE at 10 times versus a sector average at 14.3, dividend yield at 4.6, sector average 4.4, and the price at 10, roughly $10. Very competitive compared to the $14 price it would have been at April of this year. So we have seen a fall off in the price as the market overall has retreated. And our recommendation is based on continued expectations of continued revenue growth may not see double digits, but definitely single digits and improving margins will continue to impact the bottom line in a positive form. The valuation is pretty attractive and the dividend yield very attractive. So definitely want to add to your portfolio. So thanks for joining us today. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 226-8773. Visit our website, bossinvest.com or email us at investbossfinancial.com. Do have a wonderful investment week and thanks for joining us today.